What's up guys? Um, my name is Dennis. Uh, I wanted to make a little response video to Johnny Candido and Sean Noriega on their proposed bench press rule change. Uh, if you don't know me, uh, I've benched 500 pounds in multiple weight classes, in multiple meets, in multiple federations, including the USAPL. Uh, I'm a drug-free lifter, uh, so you know I have that in common with Sean. Obviously, I'm a little bit heftier than he is, so I would dare to say that he's a little bit better of a bench presser. Maybe a lot of bit better than a bench presser. Uh, definitely better at powerlifting than myself. However, I'm pretty okay at bench press. Uh, I've been doing it for a while, um, and here's what I think. So, um, first I want to say props for offering a solution. Uh, if you've been a member of any sort of powerlifting forum... Um, Facebook group, if you follow Sean on Instagram, uh, you will see when somebody posts a bench press with a really wide grip and a really big arch, people get mad. Uh, people get spiteful um, and say derogatory things to the lifter, uh, which is horrible and you shouldn't do. Uh, I believe it was Master P once said, don't hate the player, hate the game. If you don't like the rule, hate the rule. Not the lifter taking advantage of it. Um, so yeah, uh, they offered up a... And, and it's not a change out long the arch. It's a change uh, that would, you know, change the max legal grip width um, by weight class. And if you're unfamiliar, especially at the elite level, uh, weight classes are generally height classes in disguise. And height classes are... <laughs> Height classes, um, height and limb length is generally proportional. There's always going to be some exceptions, uh, myself included. I got these little T-Rex arms. Um, so yeah, that's their proposed rule change. What I like about it, it's viable. Like you can tell that they are both power lifters who've been around. Uh, you know, they know that to make changes, the changes have to be viable. They have to be able to be judged. In real time, by a human eye, um, they have to be objective, um, and you know they hit the nail on the head on all of those parts uh, as far as being able to judge this, um, uh, you know, in real time uh, with little effort and still being able to take care of all their other judging duties. Uh, you know, it wouldn't affect me personally. I compete. You know, I've I've competed every weight class from two forty two up. Um, Spoiler alert, I haven't competed at 242 in a long time. Um, but, you know, like I said, it wouldn't wouldn't affect me personally. So I, I really don't have strong feelings either way. Like, if the change was made, I wouldn't be super upset about it. Um, if a change isn't made, I don't really care either. Um, I'm fine with it being the way it is right now. If people do see the range of motion as a... Super big deal, um, you know, then this is the most viable initial change. Uh, as far as I saw in a lot of comments uh, on Johnny's video, people saying, uh, you know, just make the arms have to be perpendicular to the ground. You can't judge that with human eye. Uh, you know, perpendicular, here's, oh, now I'm not perpendicular no more. Now I'm perpendicular. Am I still perpendicular? What about now? You know, it, it's too subjective. Um, and that would be very convoluted and impossible to judge. So that you got to throw that out the window. That's why, you know, in powerlifting we use bar markings, we use anatomical landmarks and things like that. Uh, I've I've personally judged, oh, probably seven meets um, in the RPS, uh, both as a head judge. I think I've head judged four or five, and then I've been a side judge for the other ones. Um, so, you know, I've, I've sat in that chair and it's, it's, I'm not going to say it's like the hardest job ever, but you have to be attentive the whole time. Um, and things have to be objective. Like you, subjectivity would ruin any rules. So, uh, that, that's our forearm being perpendicular is not viable. Um, their proposed change is viable. Uh, so again, uh, props on that. As far as the IPF, I guess if you want to call it mission statement, uh, it's, it, it's a sales pitch to me, um, trying to get general population in there. 
Um, you know, it talks about it being relatable. You can go to the IPF page and read it yourself. Uh, but one thing I really wanted to address, well, two things really. Elite level power lifters, USAPL, Raw Nats, primetime guys, um, and people who are going for a spot at IPF Worlds, people competing at IPF Worlds. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like most of them are powerlifting to be as good as they can be at powerlifting, not for um, being beneficial to their general health and fitness programs as well as improving their performance in other sports and activities we enjoy in life. I, I just, I don't buy that one bit. I don't think that's the case. I feel like they're doing it to be good at powerlifting. Um, and then kind of from the other angle, if, if the goal was improving general health um, and performance in other sports and the activities we enjoy in life, uh, somebody who's trained and mobile enough to get into that arch position, being that mobile is probably going to transfer better to activities in life than just being a fucking cock strong bencher, in my opinion. As a cock strong bencher who cannot get into that super <laughs> hyper mobile arch, uh, I feel like that arch itself and that level of mobility would be much more transferable in a general sense. So, so that's that's kind of twofold and almost nitpicking myself from both sides of the fence, but A, I don't think elite level lifters give a fuck about what their powerlifting is doing for their their general health and life uh, and transferring to other sports that they're probably not even participating in. Um, and if we wanted to look at it the other way, somebody with that sort of mobility is going to get much better transfer from having that mobility to other sports and other parts of their life than by being able to bench press the same amount, but just in a more traditional looking bench. Um, and, and yeah, that now, as far as the powerlifting as a sport of strength, I, I see that that's certainly how it started, um, with any sport, regardless of what the initial goal is, the sport does change rules change. Johnny mentioned that. I agree. Rules change. Uh, is trying to eliminate the arch a good thing? Or is the arch itself the evolution? Uh, is is the arch the forward pass of powerlifting? Is it the fucking yamming from damn near the free throw line of powerlifting? Um, or is it the three-point shot? Is it the super ultra skill? Um, maybe I'm not as... You know, in, in the NBA, a Jeff Hornacek maybe isn't as athletic uh, as a Michael Jordan, um, but he can nail that three-pointer. Um, so is, is the high-arching bench presser, maybe I'm not as strong as the other guy bench pressing 500 pounds, but if I can master this technique, I can hang up there with him or maybe, you know, even bench more. Um, so it, it, is that the, the three-point shot? Is it the forward pass? Is it the spread offense? Et cetera, et cetera. You know, like the NFL started, forward passes were illegal. Um, and three yards on a cloud of dust. Uh, now we have, you know, five wide receivers, spread formation, Tom Brady throwing the ball 50 times a game, dinking and dunking down the way of the field. Uh, you know, sands a good running game. So, you know... Things evolve, things change. Uh, again, I, I see it. I see powerlifting as bringing more skill into it now than there was before. Maybe before it was just raw power, but now we're getting an influx of different skills. And, you know, Yao Ming can dunk with hard out, hardly jumping. LeBron James dunks from damn near the free throw line. And again, Jeff Hornacek knocks down an 18-foot jumper. Uh, they're all worth two points. They all accomplish the same goal of putting the ball through the hoop. Most points at the end of the night wins. Uh, and powerlifting, you know, high arch, sumo deadlift, uh, sumo stance squat, you know, so long as your hip crease does break the top of your knee, um, whoever moves the most weight wins. So what do you guys think? Uh, what do you think about Johnny's proposed rule change? What do you think about the IPF's mission statements? Are there any other rule changes you think should be implemented? Um, and if you do think there are some rule changes to be implemented, uh, what's the viability of those rule changes? Like, can they be judged? Are they objective? Do they take subjectivity out of it? I want to know you guys' thoughts. 
Thank you, anybody who's still here at this point. Uh,